We've been living under a rule, coming back from the dictatorship of Chile and then having 30 years of uh, center governments that didn't really make a lot of changes in Chile. People have been suffering the same. Chile has been called the Jaguar of Latin America. People don't really know what's really happening in Chile. We have 50% of the population in poverty. You don't even think how poverty is until you go to the suburbs of Chile. I live here outside in the country. When I go to Chile, I don't understand what they're saying because it's another world. That's how bad it's been. And unfortunately, those people is the one that have been suffering for so long. Education, medicine, uh, uh, how do you say, jubilaciones? Um, retirement. Retirement. All those things, for those people, is the worst. Unfortunately, people don't know abroad or outside what's really happening in Chile. Since uh, October 2019, more than 400 people have lost their eyes. Yeah. And uh, more than 50 people died in, in, in less than six months. And uh, there's still three people missing that we don't know where they are. We're still looking for them. Because of all this that happened, human rights violation, girls would go into, into, the, into the police and they would get violated and sexually assaulted. And all these things happen in Chile, you know. And unfortunately, yesterday, one of these people that lost their eyes took, took his life. He killed himself because he couldn't support it no more. This doesn't happen in, in many other countries. And the right wing in Chile has used this uh, misinformation about other countries like Cuba and Venezuela and Bolivia and all the progressive countries. And this doesn't happen in those countries. I mean, Cuba, I mean, if, if Cubans would think what's really happening in Chile, and not only in Chile, Guatemala, uh, Honduras, and all those countries that are suffering, even Mexico, that truck that turned over, killing 50 people, that's not because of socialism. That's not because of, it's because of imperialism. It's because of uh, totalitarian right-wing government that do whatever they want in their countries. That's why they're fleeing. But they only talk about Venezuelans and, and Maduro and the people that want to go uh, leave Venezuela. But the Communist Party of Chile has been one of the most democratic parties in Chile. And it's the oldest party in Chile right now. And, uh, and whatever they have said about the Communist Party, it's lies. Imperialism and the neoliberalism is not solving the problem. And this is not a 10-year thing. This is a 500 years now neoliberalism is not solving people's problems. I'm glad that um, that Honduras is getting a new government that's gonna change things for the Hondurans because that's been a violation of human rights that, that, that we don't even think of it in some other countries. But it's happening. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. I think people are gonna get equality, human rights, and people to live how they need to live. This change of governments will let those people uh, come through and see a light at the end of the tunnel.